All right, we're down here uh, in the uh, on location, and uh, we got the uh, steel frame down here in place on the floor. And we got this section here cut out so we can get some dimensions in here. And uh, we're just taking the final reassuring measurements to uh, construct this, and we're going to leave this here so they can finish uh, uh, scalloping out the floor here. Okay, we got a little bit more floor to trim out here. And then some of this frame is going to, the runners for the track are going to go down to the uh, uh, drywall surface. And we got a little bit more stuff that's got to be cleared out for the top ceiling here. So this is uh, actually coming between two small closets here. So this, this, this will be opened up here. And uh, yeah, yeah. that kind of gives you a good idea of where it's at. Okay, that's uh, that's going to be the screen to probably be hanging there for right now. Uh, and this is the lower side of the ceiling that'll be opened up, and the TV will actually drop down from here. Hello, welcome to Termite Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we're uh, cutting our box tubes uh, in their sections there. They're going to be a three-part section to this elevator and we're milling the actual full length nice and square on the, each of the, the four main posts uh, that are incorporated with each section of the elevator. And uh, we've got a vice position here and uh, we're supported out here. We've got a stop back here and uh, just clamp it down with the uh, vice there. And we automatically feed it up in the upward position. And we have a stop set so that this can run and we can go do something else while we're, you know, playing around. We're over there setting up a drill operation in the bridge port. It's going to start doing some holes along the side to hold the track and some mounting screws for some other components. Alright, the first holes we're putting in here are the four holes in each one of these that the the roller track will be bolting to. Now these are half an inch in from the edge, equal, and uh, they're going to be transfer punched and uh, hand drilled probably from the other side through these matching holes with the track in place. So we're not actually hitting them to the thousands, but we are going to a nice crisp uh, scribe line, and we'll be doing that uh, to each uh, rail as we go through here.
these got to be removable because this slips down into place and then these get bolted in because they won't be able to pass through the upper 14 inches of, of uh, ceiling that we got to penetrate. Now we got two more bars come in here. This is the first of the three sections. This is the lower section and the bearing supports. the upstairs is the underside of this box tube here and the underside of the whole vertical two inch box tube is the overhead ceiling of downstairs so that takes up basically your 14 inches of uh, space between the TV dropping out the bottom and where you're actually at floor level upstairs um, we got uh, the track material coming in tomorrow. We did have to make some modifications uh, and change out that material. Uh, and we had to order up four uh, new pieces of, of material because we had squeezed some uh, room there. We, uh, we were a little fat on our dimension and we got something that's gonna work now. Um, and then we can go ahead and we can start manufacturing the side plates that will be carrying the wheels and uh, going up and down the track. We have everything all set up, ready to go ahead and continue building our other two stages on here. Uh, it is uh, it is pretty nice having a nice cast iron table here, and with all of the box tubes exactly milled to uh, their lengths, uh, it, it, you know, makes it very comfortable and and uh, easy to put together. And uh, you also saw that uh, I put the uh, threaded inserts in the bottom. Those three eighths. Uh, tapped holes are basically going to support the, the closure that's going to be on the overhead ceiling when the TV is fully retracted and they like to close up the opening and that's how those will mount but they came in handy to really hold these square and level in line. As I'm going along I am drawing this up and uh, you know we're, we're getting some pretty nice drawings. Well I'm going to call it a day and Get her done.